Hi, let's connect the TP-Link RE315 via WPS. First of all, plug it into the power outlet next to your router and wait for the power LED indicator to start glowing solid white. And make sure that your router is working properly, connected to the internet, broadcasting Wi-Fi. Now we need to wait for a, a solid white here. That's it. Now let's see what do we have in our Wi-Fi network list. We have new Wi-Fi network TP-Link extender. But we don't need to connect to this network now because we still don't have internet here. The extender is not connected. Uh, find the WPS button on your router. Usually it's on the back panel and it's labeled. So you will easily locate this button. Press the button and then within two minutes uh, press the button with the padlock icon on the left side of your extender. And now let's see what will happen. Uh, first of all, look at the indicators on your extender. Uh, you need to see four in a row if you have dual band rotor and three in a row if your rotor supports only 2.4 gigahertz band. Wait for a while, be patient right here. Now I already see the networks the, from the extender. They named same as your main uh, rotors network, but with the EXT abbreviation added to the end. EXT stands for extender. So now I have all four indicators glowing uh, solid white. I have 2.4 gigahertz extended and 5 gigahertz extended. Now I can connect. Let me connect to 5 gigahertz. I'm connected and that's it. You're all set. Now you can relocate the extender uh, into Wi-Fi dead zone, but make sure that it's still in the rotor's range so that it can uh, get the signal from the rotor and boost it over your house. That's it, guys. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel and be awesome. Bye.